What's happening, YouTube? Joe here. Finally coming back to you. After one wild week and weekend. I've kind of waited to see everybody's recap and oh, everything of the weekend. Uh, this is a pipe, by the way, that Scotty, I call him Scotty, Scott Harris, Sparky's Pipes, brought to me and thanking me for letting him stay with me in my house three or four days when he came in. Thank you very much, Scott. I really appreciate it, man. This is great. It's called his Peace Pipe. You may have seen it on one of his videos. The weekend, I couldn't have expected to go any better than it did. It was just phenomenal. I was humbled, was blown away by it. I, I still get goosebumps thinking about it. Of all the people who came by far, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, I never heard one negative comment about the weekend, not during and not since. You know, I, I want to thank a lot of people, and I'm, I'm sure I'm probably going to leave somebody out. It's not my intention to leave anybody out. Please understand that. Uh, but I, I do have some people that I want to thank for the weekend. First and foremost, Chris Merkel, Southern Fried Pipe Club. Oh, man, what a great job you did. And thanks, by the way, for my custom orange and white Southern Fried Pipe Club t-shirt. It's, uh, it's awesome. Thank you. I'm a big orange Tennessee fan, and he knew that, and uh, this I understand is like a one of a kind. And thank you, Chris, for that. I appreciate that, but we should be heaping gifts on you because you did a magnificent job kind of tying everything together, all the raffles and all that kind of stuff. Great job, Chris. I want to thank uh, from the two, as we call them, B&M's, Brick and Mortars, Big Star Cigar, and Uptown Smoke Shop. First, uh, Big Star Cigar, Scott Partridge, Papa P., Man, I tell you how incredible it was working with you, your business partner, partner Tony, uh, Crossroads Greg, Tobacco Frank, all the guys there. You were phenomenal having the live music. Papa P even getting up there and playing guitar uh, and singing some. It was, it was great. The food there at Big Star was great. Uh, I can't say enough about all the great stuff there at Big Star. So thank you, Scott, Papa P, and all the gang at Big Star. The next day, Uptowns, Marcus Hollingsworth, uh, Mark Brissy, Aaron, I, you know, uh, go on down the line, Joe, and uh, you know everybody who who was there, the the, the guys and lady of uh, Uptowns. You did a fantastic job. Uh, you know, they had the live entertainment, they had the great food. Thunderbird Wings, oh my gosh, was fantastic. And, uh, you know, of course, both places had their respective types of pipes. Big Star ha featured the indie pipe makers. You had, uh, you had Mandy Pipes back there, who was a last-minute ad, but glad you were there. Uh, Grant Batson, Steve Morissette, Briarville Rick with the refurb pipes that he did. Great job, bro. Uh, you had uh, Scotty, uh, uh, Sparky's Pipes there, you had, uh, you had Eric Ganey, you had Jason Briarbird, uh, who was there, and Ole Sylvester, oh, his uh, monstrosities, his zombie pipes were absolutely phenomenal. I believe that's all who were actually there. If I left somebody out, please, oh Lord, please forgive me for leaving you out. Let me know that I did, and I'll make, I'll make it up to you. Uh, but there were some other pipes represented there also with pipe make, indie pipe makers who couldn't make it there. So it was a great indie pipe maker spotlight day. And then, of course, at Uptowns, it was what I call the big production company pipes. The Stanwells, the, the, the Dunhills, the, the um, Ardors, and just on and on and on. And some great estate pipes that uh, Uptowns is famous for. Um, they had over 500 pipes laid out there for people. Big tables out front outside to accommodate people outside. Uh, we were thinking the official count that uh, that Chris uh, Merkel from the Southern Fried Pipe Club gave me for uh, Big Star was right at 150 
who came in, either they registered or there are a few stragglers who didn't register or whatever, but the count uh, official and a little bit of an estimate on top of that of 150. Uh, that just blows me away. And we believe there were more people at Uptowns simply because we had people who couldn't be here on Friday, who a few came in on Saturday, and we had all of, uh, well, not all of, but a lot of Uptown's customer base they advertised to to come. And so you had uh, just, it was chaotic. And the number of people who were there was unbelievable. And I, and I tell you, the, the, biggest, the, the, the biggest compliment for me for this whole weekend, even though I, you know, I mean, these guys I've mentioned did the work. I just kind of kick-started the idea. But... The, uh, the, the number of people now who are going, I will be back next year. That just warms the cockles of my heart. What are cockles? I don't, I don't know what they are. But anyway, I just down deep inside, it's like, wow, they, they liked it. They really liked it. <laughs> and uh, the, then seeing the comments from people who couldn't make it this year who said, come hell or high water, I'm coming next year. So uh, we're already getting ready to start the planning stages for next year. In a few weeks, we'll be letting you know exactly when the dates are. We're going to set them and be ready to go and uh, to let you know so that you can make plans for your vacations or whatever you need to do, travel plans, to make sure you get good prices on airline tickets for those of you who came. Talking about coming from long distances, Sparky's Pipes came from Washington State, central Washington State, all the way here. And some of you may have heard the difficulty he had, you know, missing connecting flights and all that kind of stuff. Wow, that was just, that's another story. Um, but you had uh, Jason McNary who came from Northern California to come uh, here. You had uh, Silver Shadow uh, came all the way from Toronto, Canada. You had the Dagners, Jason and Jay Dagner, who came all the way up from near Orlando, Florida. You had a lot of folks from Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, Josh Scooter came from the Carolinas, came from South Carolina. There, uh, Mark and Amber and Rod and that bunch came from Texas. We had people from Ohio. Oh, the Cincinnati Area Pipe Society, CAPS as they're called, Burley Man 40 and a bunch of guys from there and Boontar and Skipsy and that bunch from Ohio and extreme northern Kentucky came down. Um, I'm telling you, and, and you know, I'm sure I'm leaving a lot of places out, maybe Missouri and and, uh, of course, old Tade came all the way up from near Chicago or down from near Chicago. Came from all over the country to come to this thing. I am just absolutely blown away. It's our first time. And so I can't imagine what it's going to be like from, from uh, here on out. So thank all of you for coming. That just uh, absolutely blew me away that you did. We were feeling it all the way into it, going a lot of people who were saying they were coming. But you never know until it actually happens and people are there. Uh, so that you can count them. And so for 150 plus for each day is just phenomenal for our first time out. Uh, you know, I want to thank you guys for doing that. Personally, we had a great time in my house. <laughs> we had, uh, not only did we have uh, Sparky's Pipe staying with us, we had Joshua Scooter from uh, South Carolina came in actually the week before, the weekend before, and stayed all week with us. Helped me out down here in the shop to kind of get things straightened up for the guests who were coming. Yeah, Jason and Jay Dagner, who stayed here, they were phenomenal. We got to do some motorcycle riding and uh, go around the, the country on, uh, on Monday, actually. <clears throat> and uh, did some sightseeing on Sunday with Burley Man 40 and his wife and uh, Boontar and Skipsy and Jason and Jay Dagner and AJ. Oh, man, how, how could I forget AJ? AJ Brockman and his mom, Joe, were here uh, again. And uh, wow, just incredible. Incredible that you would come up again, AJ. Thank you so much. We had a good time on Sunday. Got a little separated at the end of Sunday, so I didn't get to give you a another hug. Bye, but you know, uh, hug you, man. Appreciate it. Love you. And uh, to the Dagners, uh, thanks again. You know, they really helped kickstart my business uh, many, many moons ago. Now, a couple years ago, with uh, with helping me out with the Dagner Slayers and Sleepy Hollows and stuff like that. Man, it's, it was just great to have everybody here supporting this first time out and, and, and for the people who are saying, and you just watch their videos talking about how they can't wait for next year. It's just, it, it's great. You know, I didn't take a lot of videos, as I may have mentioned. Uh, 
and uh, you know I took pictures and put them on Instagram so if you want to see pictures go to Instagram and check out Joe Case just straight simple Joe Case on Instagram I think it's all one word run together you, you, you can look it up and, and find me and a bunch of others who are on Instagram who put pictures up and little mini videos that you can do on Instagram and check out the other YouTube uh, folks who've done recaps and videos and photos of of the weekend it's 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 great again thank you so much and uh, another big thank you I just want to pass this along in our last video uh, some people may have felt we dissed a tobacco company who helped us out Sutliff Tobacco uh, can I tell you I want to thank Sutliff so much for all they did in providing literally hundreds of tins of tobacco for people to have for absolutely free who came in now, as I mentioned in the last video when I did with a group of guys here that, you know, a couple of them, you know, we don't care for, but there are a couple that I do. I love, uh, I, I love, especially love CD Blend. CD Blend is really, really good. As a matter of fact, that is what I'm smoking in my Sparky's pipe today. Mm -hmm. You need to try it. Their CD Blend is good. I understand that Fieldmaster might be up my alley as well. I love to get my hands on some Fieldmaster. But I got a message from Sutliff. They actually thanked us for the last video, who some people thought we were running them down. They said, hey, we understand you were having fun, and that's exactly what we were doing. And they understand that it, you know, not every blend is for everybody. We understand that. So thank you, Sutliff, for that comment, and thank you for what you did for the conference that was absolutely phenomenal. Hopefully we can get some of those other big tobacco companies to follow suit, follow the lead of Sutliff. That would be great. Uh, had a great time with the Dagners. We went around to some vape shops. Are any of you doing any vaping? This is a what's called a pipe mod that we picked up over the weekend. Jason, Jay, and I each got one of these. And please know, you guys who are who are purists about tobacco go, oh no, give me my pipe tobacco and my cigars. I understand that. This is not to replace this. This is an alternative to this when we can't do this, i.e. inside Starbucks. Guess what? We vape inside my house where my wife doesn't like me smoking in the house. Guess what? I can vape great flavors of different juices that you can put in there uh, better for you a lot of guys use those things to get off cigarettes which you should do but it's not going to replace the the pipe just know that okay that's it thank you again so much for coming and being with us here in good old music city usa hope you enjoyed your visit it was beautiful weather and we look forward to next year for the second annual. We'll let you know as soon as we know what the dates are going to be. And uh, then throughout the year, we'll be throwing in all the information about it. But the dates we'll get as soon as we can so that you can start planning, putting it down for your vacations and getting your flights and, and all that stuff. If I left anybody out in my thank yous, uh, please, please forgive me. But I thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who came. Everybody who said had such great comments about it. I thank all my customers. You are the best customers in the universe for putting up with waiting time, uh, knowing that I had to spend last week making pipes for the show. I only have done one show, one pipe show ever since I've been making pipes, and that was this one. I felt like I needed to in this one. You know what I mean? I may do two next year. I may do Chicago and Nashville next year, but... Uh, uh, you know, for the most part, I'm back at work making and filling orders that I've gotten. Uh, thank you so much. You understand that I may be a little behind on that, but I'm going to be catching up. Thank you so much for continuing to order. you got to know, making pipes is my business. Making pipes is my full-time thing. That little radio thing I do and TV from time to time now is just a fill-in or a, a freelance or just a little part-time gig. My pipe business is my full-time business, and I want to thank you for your support. You are so great for all of you who are my customers and those of you who will be my customers. I really, really appreciate it. God bless you all. See you next year at the second annual Music City Pipe Show and Sale, and we'll see you next time here on YouTube.